Okay, this movie is going to be kind of sort of part two of our green screen effect in iMovie. But what we want to do is just show you some of the enhancements that you can do with your green screen footage. Now, we ended our video with this kind of look here, and, and there's several things wrong with it. For one thing, thing we've got this uh, little piece of an old computer in our picture. Uh, if you'll notice that we've got this kind of grayish highlighting or, or gradient in the corner here and that's actually the green screen itself the fold so it's this part is darker than the original green you'll also notice that there's these black bars on either side of our picture that don't make it really seem like we're in a room it makes it look more like we're in front of a picture so we want to we want to enhance some of the pieces of our green screen key and footage to make it look just a little bit more realistic so one of the things that we did in our previous video is we selected the, the image clip and we went to the cropping area and we just simply chose fit. And what that does is it fits the image full size into our frame. What we want to do instead is choose crop to fill. Now this takes a little bit more work, but what it'll actually do is create this image that's a 16 by 9 or a widescreen image for our video. And so if we like the positioning of this, that's that's great. We can go up or we can go down or we can kind of move side to side. That doesn't that isn't exactly the effect that we want. Or we can resize this and put it kind of anywhere we want to. I like approximately where this is. So if I click on the check mark, it should just kind of quickly zoom out and give us the 16 by 9 ratio with the image filling the screen. And so you'll also notice that that there are no black bars. Okay. The other thing is my face is just a little bit kind of washed out. I want to give my face just a little bit more color. So what I need to do then next is click on the green screen footage and start to manipulate that green screen footage. I'm going to go to this color correction icon here. And all I'm going to do is just kind of bring up the saturation to make me just a little bit less washed out. Okay. I could go in and modify some other contrast ratios and other things like that. Um, but that's, that's a good kind of basic color correction that we can do. Okay. The next thing that I want to do is actually work on our green screen footage again. So I'm going to turn our color off and go to our connected clip. And you'll notice that we're in the green blue screen. We've chosen that as our video overlay style. So we don't want to change that. But what we can do are make some adjustments up at the top. One of them being the softness, and I'll show you what happens kind of at the extremes. If we go to, to kind of zero softness, it really shows that green screen background, um, the shadow in the corner here especially. As we go all the way up to the top, it kind of takes that stuff away, but then my shirt starts to become transparent. So a good kind of medium is right in the middle. Now it doesn't take care of this shadow and again there's some there's some shadow over on this side too because of the way the green screen was lit. So that indicates that to start with you may want to get your green screen lit absolutely properly but if you don't you can do some fixes in iMovie. So the first thing that we're going to do is notice this little eraser. I'm going to click on this and I'm just going to take my eraser and I'm going to click down in this area where I've got that shadow and it virtually erases all of the traces of shadows from my green screen fabric um, and it just looks sharp all the way around. You can't see any shadows in any of these different areas. The other thing that we want to do is we want to click on our button to change what's called the mask of our green screen footage. So here's here's an extreme example. If I drag this out and I put it over my face, you'll see what's happening. It's actually masking out the video that's on top of it. We, we don't want to go this far, but what we can do is just make sure that we go to the to the top here, but I won't ever kind of wave my arms anywhere outside of this boundary. But we do want to take care of this little glitch over here where we included an old computer in our shot. So all I need to do is click down in this corner and drag out a little bit 
make sure that we are sticking our bottom line, our bottom vector line here um, at the very bottom of the frame. But if we just kind of skew this mask a little bit, and then we go and we play the footage, you'll notice that everything has been kind of taken out. And if I do wave my hands around, it doesn't ever kind of go outside of the boundary of the mask. So if we're happy with that, we can click on OK or the checkbox. And again, we've got our footage looking exactly the way we want it. It's a nice, clear key, and I'm happy. So those are just some of the things that you can do to kind of improve your green screen footage and your key and your background.